Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with Mike Wong. Y'all already know what it is. I'm out here with Mike Wong. Hold on one second. Let me switch that over. Uh, this one. There we go. I'm out here with Mike Wong. You see him right here. And uh, more or less what I want to talk to y'all about today is why I don't agree with the current shooting model. Like, a lot of people might might agree with it. And I actually saw one person in the comments was actually saying that um, they felt like it should be like that because it makes ratings matter. See, to me, I think ratings do matter. But at the same time, it's the way that ratings matter is, is what it should be. Ratings should not matter to give you a percentage chance to do something. The ratings should matter to to give you the opportunity to take advantage of it. Case in point, like um, like right now we know that the we know that the higher your ratings are and the higher your um the higher your ratings are, the higher your badges are, the higher your, all this stuff is, it gives you a better percentage chance to do something. It doesn't give you the ability to do it. But in all previous 2Ks, it's been like this. Your ratings just give you a better window to do something. So like if you had a 73, a 70 overall three last year, right? I could shoot, I was able to shoot threes and twos consistently with a 70 overall three last year with a playmaker. I didn't have to, I didn't have to play with a sharpshooter. A lot of people needed to play with a sharpshooter. And this, and this is where it's gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings because what you gotta realize is a lot of y'all just ain't that good at this game. You know what I'm saying? You're not just that good in, in some areas. Like if you're not a good shooter, you're not gonna be able to be successful with a 70 overall three like I was. Yeah, it was some shots that I missed that I would have made if I was a sharpshooter. Of course, that's always gonna be the case. But if you're just not good enough, you just gotta, at some point, you just gotta admit that. Now, right here, I have a 68 mid range and I got a uh, 70 overall three, right? Last year, it, once you got to 70, you were in total control of um, of the area. So you had a green zone. Let's say, let's say at uh, if you had a 70 overall three last year, you had a a 30 millisecond green zone or something like that. And if you had a if you had a uh, 90 plus three, you probably had like a a 60 millisecond green zone. Like it, it increased the green zone, so you would get a lot of greens. But um, everybody was missing full whites last year, or they would uh, or the 75 percent always went in. Slightly early, slightly late, always went in. But um, but the full whites hardly ever went in for anybody. But you don't have to worry about that because you can shoot greens. Like this dude right here, I got a 68 mid range. I'm able to hit greens. Now, if I can do that, but most other players can't, you can't compare me to other players because that just means I'm better than somebody. You can't have a model that you are that you are calling competitive that punishes people with exceptional skill because that's what it's doing right now. If I'm able to hit consistently and time it properly with the um, with, with 70 overall, then I should be able to hit it. It shouldn't be like, well, he timed it properly, but his three is only a 70, so he should miss it. That's insane. Like, he was like, uh, I think, I don't even know what his name was in the comments, but he was like, sharpshooters should be the best shooters. No, sharpshooters should not automatically be the best shooters, and that's what this model promotes. Sharpshooters should have the best chance to be the best shooters. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nothing should be automatic in the game. Just think about it like this. What if we're playing the game, and like, okay, take that, take that for example. That's a full white right there, right? The game just said, he timed it perfectly, but we're just not gonna give it to him, right? Now, the same thing, the exact same timing, I timed it perfectly and it was a green, right? So why why is that? What makes the what what in the game makes the determination that I'm gonna make it not be green this time? Like you can't, and the reason I'm saying this is because you can't call this game, you couldn't call the game competitive before, but now that we have this information, you really cannot call this game competitive. I seen guys that shoot nothing but greens last year. Hitting them, but whites. So I was watching my dog, Eyeball Toxic. I'm going to put his link in the description. Y'all go over there and check him out. Uh, sub up if you like his content, watch his stream and all that stuff. He was playing a game. They were up 15 to 8. He shot three straight whites. Wide open whites. Toxic does not miss. Toxic does not miss. I'll say it again. Toxic does not miss. And he shot three straight whites. Why? Because the game predetermined that he should shoot a white because he had already hit his maximum number of greens. That does not make sense to anybody. How can we call the game competitive? And they lost the game off of that because the other guys they were playing against, they hadn't they hadn't hit um they they hit their shots. Now, Toxic is a sharpshooter. 
and he's got the highest level of being able to be green. Last year when he was in control of total control of the greens, uh, you know, whatever, like like it was last year where there was a green zone and the higher your your rating was, the larger the green zone was and the more time you had to time it. That's that's when it was good. Conversely, BTR Steffa had a lockdown defender last year and he shot better. He shot better from three than most people shot, period. Because he he knew the timing of the jump shot. He's an exceptional player. Like, this is what I'm saying. You can't have a system that rewards mediocrity because that's what it's doing. It's leveling the playing field out. It's just like it's just like 2K welfare. It's like it's, it's leveling the playing field for those who are not good to give them a chance. And that's what people are upset at. That's why we like the game can't be competitive, especially knowing this information. How can it be competitive when when I can do the exact same thing, I can time it properly, perfectly every single time, and and the ball just not go in. It's not because I didn't. It's nothing that I did. Like that's why I don't even want to really play the game anymore. Because when I miss shots now, if it's a full white, there's nothing that I did or nothing that I could have done better. It's it's literally saying that that should have been green, but we're not gonna give you the green. That's just it. And so you're you're gonna miss the shot, and, th- and we're gonna give you a five percent chance to make it. Not not that. Not that, you know, you missed the green, so you still got a good chance to make it. No, you missed that green, you have a 5% chance of making this shot because you timed it perfectly. So how can I have perfect timing one time and it goes in and then perfect timing the next time and have next to no chance of making it? Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. Like I said, the game cannot be competitive and you can't call anything competitive that has random outcomes. There has to be a constant. You can't give me a chance to make the shot. You have to let me make the shot because of like, uh, oh, okay, let me, let me say it like this. If I time it perfectly, I should make the shot. That's it. I should be able to rely on the timing and, 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 and do that. But if I don't time it well, which most people can't, because some people are just bad at the game, man. We just got to realize that. It, th- this is just leveling the playing field. Like that right there, that was just completely, that was the same way I timed the other one. But um, that, it's some people are just bad at the game, and I feel like this is compensating for them. And of course, that's why people are making sharp shooters because you got the best chance. But like, it's like I think with all of y'all guys as bad, just it probably takes you up to like 70, 80 percent, especially with the hot spots or something like that of making it. But you're still gonna miss miss perfect releases. So still, to me, 70 to 80 percent on a perfect release? No, that's not acceptable. A perfect release should be 99.9 percent, and it should be green. That's it. If I can do this right here all day, then they should let it go in. But as soon as I go into competition, it's going to, um, you know, the, the the algorithm kicks in to hold my shooting percentage down. And it shouldn't do that. It should be if I'm good enough to do it, then I can do it. Like people like, he's like, well, what's the purpose of sharpshooters there? Well, what the purpose of Darren Slashes if everybody can go to the rim now? The purpose of sharpshooters is so that people that cannot shoot can play sharpshooter and they can feel like they can hit shots. Or people that are exceptional can never miss, really. But the way that the game is, is is just not like that. If you're a sharpshooter, you can't, it's like you're a sharpshooter, you have a good chance to make the shot. I feel like it's even it's even more BS because last year you didn't see sharpshooters miss wide open shots because they could green them. Most, most people didn't miss wide open shots because they were going to be green last year. Now, it's just literally a game of chance. We're just playing an active game of chance, and that's, that's, that is never a good thing. Hope y'all guys understand what I'm saying, why. Like, the game can't be competitive until until we got control of the jump shots. It cannot be competitive. You can't say, dude, you, you just got a chance to hit the shot or whatever. You got to let me hit the shot. You can't say, I have a 50% chance to hit the shot because ratings matter. They just need to matter in a different way. They don't need to give you a, they need to give you a window of opportunity rather than a percentage chance to do something. Like, like, I mean, it is what it is, man. I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I got to get up out of here. A uh, little short video for y'all this morning. Like I said, I should be able to shoot just like this. If I'm timing it properly, the ball should go in. If I'm not timing it properly, it shouldn't. But, like, when you get to E-League, how you going to make it be random where shots go in? Then people can't even say who's really good or not. Like, do y'all not understand how you can't tell who's really good at the game or not when it's like you just have a percentage chance to do something? Even if you do it properly, even if you do it perfectly, you still just have a percentage chance, and it's not even a high percentage at that. 
Do y'all realize how, how uncompetitive the game is in that situation? Maybe you don't because, like, maybe y'all wanted to be like, well, only sharpshooters can hit shots and stuff like that. Maybe that's how y'all wanted to be. I don't know. I know last year, if a glass cleaner took a shot, it was a low percentage chance of them making it. But I didn't. I, but I still defended everybody because I know everybody can make it. Like it just is what it is. But at the same time, this year it's an ultra low percentage chance that's aided by the game saying, "And you're not gonna make it." It's like, oh yeah, yeah, it should have been green, but guess what? It's not gonna be green. Like it is what it is, man. I, I, like I said, it just punishes exceptional players and, and tries to bring stats. It's just like the communism of the video game industry. It, it, it would be just like Call of Duty saying, hey, you hitting too many shots, so we're going to drop your shot percentage artificially. Like, we're going to make you just miss two out of three shots because you're using a gun that shouldn't be able to... Uh, even though your accuracy is, is, is of the utmost and you're really good at the game, because you're using a gun that shouldn't be this accurate, we're just gonna artificially drop it and make you miss uh, three out of five bullets every time. Like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. And then, so you wouldn't even be able to kill nobody with that gun, and then everybody has to use the same class. That's what the problem is. Like, exceptional players can't even use a different class. Like, bad players on Call of Duty use the FAMAS and all that, okay? On, on Black Ops 1, because that's what bad players use. Exceptional players could use different guns that gave different benefits. So, in this game, it's about the same thing. You know, players that aren't very good, that just want that easy roll sometimes, and I'm not saying for the most part, you got some real good sharpshooters out there, but you got a lot of players that are just trash, and so they pick sharpshooter and uh, because they can make shots. But then exceptional players that, that shouldn't have to choose that because I can shoot and I have good timing, now, well, if you want to shoot the basketball, you still have to shoot. You have to still have to shoot a, choose a sharpshooter because your your rating won't support your ability. Your ability your ability will outshine the rating, but the rating is gonna hold it down. That's not fair. It's not competitive. And and the first time somebody shoots a full white and misses a game in e league or something and, and loses a game in e league or something like that because of just the percentages, you really gonna see it. But like as of right now, I feel like you can look at this stuff and it's just like you can't you can't tell who's good, man. You can't, unless you put the shooting boost on and the shooting boost seems to just break through the percentages. I think what the shooting boost does is it just kills the percentage chance and it just gives you the whole chance like you're in complete control. So that's another way that they're just finessing us again because all they want us to do is spend more money on the game and 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 that's it, man. They want you to spend money on the game so that all the money that you make, all the VC that you make, you're nullifying it because you have to buy boost to give yourself complete control and we should have complete control anyway. Again, Ratings should give you a green window. 70 window should be very small, and on up to 99, it should be it should be bigger. The the 60 and 70 uh, 70 uh, 69 and below, it should be so small that it's nearly impossible to time. But if somebody's good enough to time it, then you can't punish their player. Anyway, man, hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm gone. I gotta get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all understand what I'm saying. You shouldn't. It should never be a predetermined outcome in a competitive game. That should never be. That should never be the case. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug.